Getting a new roof on your house is expensive, so when you have one, you want it to last as long as it can. We're here with Jeff from Triple Peaks Roofing. And Jeff, you're gonna tell us about the role of, of ventilation in helping the longe longevity of a roof's life? Yes. Ventilation on a roof can actually extend the roof's life by 20 to 25%. That's Those bad. statistics come from AirVent, um, who has been going around the country and training for over 25 years to roofers in the area. Um, the other uh, common mistakes that we often see uh, when it comes to ventilation is actually intake. Um, people going and removing somebody's box vent or power fan and saying, well, we're gonna put on a ridge vent, but then they fail to put on the intake vent. Intake vent is how a ridge vent actually works. So. The exhaust vent, which is a ridge vent, only works if it has air to pull from the bottom and creates a high low pressure system at yeah. the very top. So you want the air to flow from the bottom into your attic and out the top. Some people go, well, I have a cathedral ceiling. That's okay. The definition of an attic is having an air space of an inch to an inch and a half between the roof deck and the insulation. And you want continuous airflow to go from the bottom to the top. You can also lose a warranty if you don't properly vent a roof system. Every roof warranty from Certainty to GAF, Owens Corning to Tamco to every other brand out there has a blurb in their warranty that states that if it is improperly ventilated, it loses the warranty. Certainty is the only one that I know of that will actually guarantee their materials for the first 10 years, even if you have improperly ventilated roofing system. But who wants to buy a roof at year 11 because they didn't want to spend the extra 1500 on an intake vent? So having yeah. an intake vent is literally the most common problem that I have seen in my time of roofing out in the, in the industry. If that's something you see, Jeff, is that something that can be remedied in my house? I mean, can you just put an intake vent or? Absolutely. The okay. thing is, over the last 20 years, there's just been remarkable things that have been made and products that have come out from really good ventilation companies. There's now a vent that can go on the roof. Even if you don't have a soffit, it's called a vent intake and it's a shingle over style. So what happens is we would put a one inch hole um, in your deck. We would put ice and water shield on. We would cut out the hole. We would put on the uh, edge vent. Then we would put ice and water shield on a minimum of three foot because you want the code is two foot into the heated area. Triple peaks. We do six foot standard on every roof. So we always wow. double up the code. Um, so that we know your home is going to be protected. You pay a little bit more, but it's really well worth the money. And then we put the shingles over top of that. That way you have equal intake and you have equal exhaust. That's going to give you longevity on your roof system when it comes to ventilation. Well, that's some, that's some great information to have, Jeff, because I don't think people think about that. So listen, if you want to breathe easier about how your roof is working, your roof needs to breathe. The ventilation has to be there. So another way to breathe, uh, breathe easier, have Triple Peaks Roofing. Check it out and do the work on your roof. TriplePeaksRoofing.com. Check them out. Plenty of videos just like this one. You can get to know the guys and give them a call. Thanks for watching. For sure. Thank you.